you from the bottom of my heart for being here. On opening day in a particular school, students were streaming in as usual during this day. In many schools, inspection is done. This was a mixed school. Therefore, the boys went to the male teachers and the girls went to the female teachers. Due to previous cases in this particular school, the police also were involved in inspecting students as they streamed in school. It is important to note that there was rampant drug abuse in this particular school. That's why the law enforcement was involved. Don't ask me whether it was to instill fear or it was to ensure that these students adhered to the rules of the school. I, I still, I, I, I can't expound more because it is a different school. As one of the policemen was inspecting the boys. Remember when he is inspecting the boys, the teachers are there. And the students also come in with their word. Their parents have to empty everything that you're carrying. You have to empty your pockets. You have to get everything out of you. Backpack if you have one or any luggage that you're carrying for inspection. As the policeman was inspecting a particular boy, a small item just like a pen but wider than a pen. So he asked the student, what is it? The student said, oh, it's a new type of perfume that I'm carrying. Remember all the other teachers are there? And they looked at it. Then all these teachers have been teaching for a while, but there was this new teacher. Actually, he was on teaching practice. He said, no, that's not a perfume. It is a drug. Actually, to be specific, it was vape. All the teachers and the same policeman were shocked. It was taken to the principal's office. The principal also did not know about it. So they called this teacher on teaching practice so that he can expound on it. So I told them, just Google about it so that you know more about it. So they Googled. They got to know what it was. So you see, most of the people in the school, most of the teachers to be specific, never knew what it was. Even the principal never knew what it was. There are new different types of drugs in the market. You have to be vigilant on them. You have to know them as a parent. You know what is there so that you can be able to prevent it. Don't generalize the drugs that are there. Don't just make sure they know that you know. But my topic today was not about that. It was about how in schools, new young teachers are not listened to. Even if they give their views, or we can call them their opinions, or they suggest something. Because it is viewed that they always have to learn from the world. What I think is, everyone is important in the society. Whether this is a new teacher or an old teacher, you should listen to all of them. Maybe you should, you could get something from these new teachers. Remember big companies like Google. Not even let's not go to Google. Let's go in our country here. They employ the young people. Where do you think they employ them? Because they can come up with new ideas, new ways of dealing with challenges. We are not saying that they are always correct because we have that. We have the experience bit that the older teachers have, which is also very important. But forgetting the young blood in that community, in that institution is bad. They can come up with new ways of dealing with what? With a particular situation. Ways which are effective and very easy to execute. But no one listens to them. No one. In this particular example, you see, they, they helped save the day. That's why I'm even urging my fellow teachers, 
it's important to expose yourself to know these things. They are there in the social media. They are there. If you get inquisitive and learn about them so that we don't keep on using the old methods to solve issues. So that we can be able also to move with times in some of the issues. Yes, old is gold. Remember, I've said experience is very important. But the gap that is there between the old teachers and the new teachers, young teachers, is getting wider and wider. And at the end of the day, if it grows wider, it doesn't benefit the child because of the student. To be specific, it is good just to hear them out. Even if you won't execute what these new teachers are saying. We know most of the institutions, we have the policy makers and those speak. It is what is what law in that particular institution. Is the policy maker in that institution or the rule maker in that institution? Or anyone who helps the rule maker? in that institution. Have you listened to a different new view? Have you taken it into consideration when you are alone and thought about it? And thought about whether it works or this is the right method and we should try it. I always believe that change is inevitable and change is good and change brings growth. So we should stop stagnating in these particular institutions with stale information. We try new methods sometimes. I don't know. That is my view. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Kesho.